welcome to another Foldit Lab Report. I'm BKEP here at the Institute for Protein Design with my colleague Ian H. If this is your first time experiencing Foldit Lab Reports, we produce these videos on the first of every month to tell you more about the science behind Foldit. In the news, after eight rounds of small molecule design, we have concluded the CASH puzzle series. In previous lab reports, we talked about the CASH competition which is a contest to see who can come up with the best small molecule drugs to bind a specific protein target. The current cache target is a helicase protein from the virus that causes COVID-19. This helicase protein is essential for the virus to unpack its RNA and replicate. Check out last month's November lab report for more details. Now that the puzzle series has closed, the next step is for us to submit the most promising compounds to cache so they can be tested in the lab. We've done some initial analysis on the compounds you've made and they look great. We have plenty of good looking compounds that are both predicted to bind to the protein target and also should be feasible to produce. Foldit scientists are currently running some deeper analysis to pick out the absolute best compounds to test. So stay tuned for future updates. And that brings us to our puzzle updates. Starting in December, we will be changing the way that we score protein design puzzles. Specifically, we are introducing an objective bonus for AlphaFold predictions. This is a big change that will affect which solutions rise to the top of the leaderboards. So I want to take some time and walk through it. We already know that AlphaFold is the best way we currently have to pick out which designs will be successful in the lab. If AlphaFold predicts that a protein will fold with high confidence, that protein will probably fold. And if AlphaFold predicts a problem with your protein, well, that probably will lead to problems in the lab. When we look at recent protein design puzzles, we see that the top scoring solutions usually look good by eye and they have a very high folded score, but when we submit them for AlphaFold predictions, they're not always predicted with a high confidence or similarity to the designed structure. So, we are going to start awarding a score bonus for AlphaFold predictions so that we can properly reward designs that look good in AlphaFold. If you get back an AlphaFold result with high confidence and similarity, then you can get a massive score bump from the neural net objective. Now, because AlphaFold takes a few minutes to run, this bonus won't be available immediately. You won't be able to just watch your score rocket up in real time. Instead, once you create a solution you like, you should submit it to AlphaFold and wait a few minutes for the result to come back. If it has a high confidence and similarity, then you can load in the original structure or the predicted structure and you'll get the AlphaFold bonus. This will be the new standard for protein design puzzles moving forward. So if you haven't had a chance to use the AlphaFold tool within Foldit, now's a great time to get familiar with how it works. With this change, we expect to see a lot more success in the lab when we make and test your design solutions. And that brings us to this month's design of the month. This month we have a BMPR binder design from NSPC. This is in puzzle 2226. And as a reminder, we want to design a protein that can bind to BMPR to promote bone growth. To start, we can see a quick view of the design here on the puzzle page. So we see that uh, our binder here is a nice three helix bundle and it packs nicely against the target BMPR protein. Uh, if we scroll over to fold it now, um, I like to look at these in the protein design view option. So I can see all of the polar atoms and hydrogen bonds. Um, this does look like a very nice design. We see lots of hydrogen bonds here at the interface. Um, although the, uh, the design itself has a strong hydrophobic core with lots of orange residues and uh, the outside is, is decorated with lots of blue polar side chains. So remember this is important for the protein to fold up correctly and remain soluble. Um, but I want to I wanna focus on the interface that NSPC has designed here. Um, the challenge with this BMPR target is that the interface is very polar. You can see at the binding site here, there are a lot of blue residues that will become buried when our binder binds to the binding site. So we need to make sure that our binder can satisfy these polar residues by making hydrogen bonds. Um, and that's, I think, the major strength of this design is that NSPC has done a great job of satisfying 
you know, this histidine here looks like um, a glutamate or a glutamine uh, on this end and um, while wow, this arginine needs to make lots of hydrogen bonds and it looks like NSPC is about had it covered. Um, uh, also, oh yes, look, also this glutamate back here on the backside making lots of hydrogen bonds. Um, this looks great. I love all of the satisfied polars. Uh, if we do look at the varied unsats objective, we see that Foldit thinks that there are um, a number of these. Some of these I would not need to worry about. Some of these backbone atoms on the periphery can probably make H bonds with water. On the other hand, some of these polar atoms in the core um, would be nice if they could make H bonds. But all in all, NSPC has done such a great job of satisfying so many polars at the binding site. I'm not terribly, terribly worried. In fact, the thing that would maybe concern me about this design is actually the lack of hydrophobic contacts between the binder and the target. We have to remember that buried hydrophobics is the force that, bi that drives binding the most. We need to have lots of hydrophobic surface area that becomes buried at the binding site um, so that our binder will naturally stick to the target very closely. That, of course, is very difficult for this target because the target does not have a lot of hydrophobic surface area to bind to. Um, but I could maybe imagine seeing, um, you know, we could maybe put in some bulkier tryptophans or phenylalanines in this core of the binding site here that would present some more hydrophobic surface area uh, to improve the tightness of binding. That said, I think this design uh, looks very nice. Um, Hopefully it has a great alpha fold uh, predicted confidence and similarity. As always, we encourage all folded players to share your favorite designs with scientists. We love to see which designs you think are the most interesting, regardless of how they rank on the folded leaderboards. That's it for this month. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next year.